welcome to my channel. Um, I'm just about to board my flight to Singapore, which is going to be about 12 hours. Um, I've spent already about four hours getting to the airport and then trying to get through airport security. So, so far it just feels like forever and um, saying goodbye was hard. I've never cried before, but when my little nephew couldn't even hug me because I know he just obviously didn't understand that I was going away for such a long time and it was just quite emotional so but uh, even though I'm flying with Norwegian which means there'll be no entertainment on board in that um, I'm hoping everything will go okay because I've got a gazillion episodes of Friends downloaded I'm currently wandering around trying to find somewhere to sleep it's really hard to do and I'm just absolutely knackered partially time like jet lag and partially just just exhausted generally from traveling for so long hi guys so i just had an eventful evening obviously i'm shattered from the long journey i ended up watching four movies in singapore airport couldn't find anywhere extremely comfortable to sleep as you'd expect from an airport but um, then I got a flight on Scoo Air and it's just got the smallest seats you've ever possibly imagined. Um, I could actually feel my legs digging into the person's back in front of me, but I was at the very, very back of the plane, so luckily no one was digging into me. But still, this person had tilted their chair back slightly and my legs were just crushed and I couldn't move and all I wanted to do was sleep. Um, so anyway, I got to Bali. Um, got an extortionate taxi, but I just couldn't be bothered to hassle with the hassle anymore. I was just like, yeah, take me to the villa. Um, so I got here, beautiful villa. Uh, it's such a shame though that it's quite quiet at the moment. I'm hoping maybe I'll meet some more people soon. Um, but then, yeah, then the adventure started when I rented a bike and like a moped and tried to go to get some food. Originally, I was going to get it ordered, but uh, they were just taking so long that I was like, okay, screw it, I'm just going to go somewhere and find some food. So I stopped at a pizza shop nearby, but I accidentally, while like turning around in the road, I drove into a lamppost. Um, it was really slow, I didn't hurt myself or anything, but it was so embarrassing because everyone in the pizza shop was just staring at me and I was like, oh gosh. So then of course I had to awkwardly park up and it was too late to go back by now because it was just embarrassing enough as it was, let alone turning around and leaving. So I was like, okay, fine, just try to pride, whatever, I'll go in. So I went in and um, this guy automatically like quickly runs out and checks his bike's okay. And I was like, your bike's fine. And he was like, as an afterthought, oh yeah, are you okay? I was like, yeah, I'm fine, thanks, I'm fine. Um, but I couldn't look anyone in the eyes while in the pizza place because I was just so embarrassed. I was like, oh gosh, please don't ask me anything. I'm just gonna stare at my pizza and giggle to myself. So anyway, I quickly hurried it, like just scoffed it down. And I was like, that's it, I need to get out of here. So then I went to go back on the bike and I was like, oh no, there's loads of damage to the front of it. And then I realized I was trying to put my key into someone else's bike. So this is going really successfully so far. Um, but no, then I finally got to my bike and luckily it wasn't damaged and yeah, I rode it back fine. Well, I mean, I should have ridden it fine in the first place given I have ridden bikes before every time I've been in Asia and also um, it was only three minutes away. But I don't know, I guess it was just, it was absolutely like torrential downpour rain. Um, it's really humid but raining so much. So in my defense, it was slippery. <laughs> Anyway, I'm just spending the night um, reading on my Kindle. I'm just gonna relax for a bit and then hopefully tomorrow I go out and see what's going on. That's if it ever stops raining.